Hello and welcome to the last video of 2021 where we're going to be going through all of the gaming related goodies that I got for Christmas. Let me know down in the comments what your favourite thing is that you got for Christmas too and if you don't celebrate Christmas then just think of this as a game pickups video for the month of December. With all of that out of the way let's begin this list by talking about the only Switch game that I got for Christmas this year and it is of course Metroid Dread. Obviously normally with this style of video this is the part where I would go through a sort of mini review of all of the games because normally I would have played them but of course Christmas was only a couple of days ago so I've actually not had the opportunity to play any of these games yet. But even so I am really excited to get into this because I've heard nothing but good things about it and supposedly it's one of the best 2D Metroid games ever made. I haven't actually played that many Metroid games before and I've only actually ever finished one of them which is Super Metroid. I do have Prime 1 and 2 which I'm planning on getting around to soon but now I also have Dread as well so I've got quite the Metroid back catalogue to be working on. So yeah that's Metroid Dread, I can't wait to give it a go. The next game is probably the first one that I'm actually gonna play though and it's the first of the three PS5 games that I got given for Christmas and it is The Forgotten City. I kind of feel like this is a game that's flown under the radar for a lot of people and I think that's because it's kind of difficult to explain what it is because it doesn't really follow a traditional game structure. Now because I've not actually played this yet I'm not going to be able to really talk about it properly or talk about any of its gameplay elements or anything but if you are interested I do recommend looking up a video about it by Jacob Geller where it talks about all of the gameplay mechanics and some of the intricacies of its narrative too. In fact, that video by Jacob Geller is how I found out about this game in the first place, so I'm really looking forward to giving it a go. The next game you'll have definitely have heard of because it's probably one of the biggest AAA releases that we've had this year, and it is of course, Deathloop for the PS5. It's actually been quite a while since I've played a straight up first person shooter like this, so I'm looking forward to giving this a go and seeing how it compares to the other shooters that I've played a little bit recently like Doom Eternal. Of course the spin that this game puts on the genre is that you're actually stuck in a time loop so every time you die the day resets and you start from the beginning again. The objective of the game becomes about killing all of the boss characters within a single day of the game so you have to sort of manipulate them to all be in the same place at the same time so you can do it efficiently. I've heard very good things about this in terms of the way it's designed but I have heard that the ending is terrible so we'll have to see for ourselves what it's all about. The final PS5 game that I got for Christmas and the final actual video game is none other than Hades for the PS5. Now I'm a little bit late jumping on the bandwagon for this because it obviously came out quite a while ago and received nothing but critical acclaim. I never actually got around to playing it at the time it released just because it didn't actually look like it was my sort of thing but seeing as I got it as a Christmas present I'm definitely going to give it a go and see if it lives up to the hype. From what little I know about it it's this roguelike hack and slash game where you play as the son of Hades and you're trying to escape the underworld. But outside of that basic concept I don't actually know very much about this at all so I'm kind of going into it quite blind. Let me know if you've played this and what you thought about it because I imagine a lot of you out there have given this a go and you probably all really like it too so I don't know why I'm still sleeping on it. Still I've got it now so I'm definitely going to be giving it a go very very soon. Now we're moving on to the gaming related stuff that I got for Christmas that isn't an actual video game. So for example one of the things that I got for Christmas is this Yoshi hat. Now Yoshi is my favourite Mario character and is always my go-to in games like Mario Kart or Mario Party or anything like that and I've actually got quite a lot of Yoshi merchandise dotted around the game room here but I think this is the first item of clothing that I've ever had that's Yoshi related so that's cool that I can rep him when I'm outside. I'll probably be wearing this more so in summertime than in winter because obviously it's a little bit cold to be just wearing a cap right now but still I'll definitely be using this when it gets a little bit hotter. Another clothing related present that I got given was some uh, gaming socks so these ones have NES controllers on them and there was also two other pairs that had an Xbox controller and a PlayStation controller. I mean Christmas isn't quite Christmas if you don't receive some socks right so this was a pretty good present because I do always need new pairs of socks. Another good functional sort of present that I got given was actually some Pac-Man coasters. 
Uh, we don't actually have that many coasters in the house for some reason, so yet again, this was a pretty good present, and we're probably going to use these in the dining room. It's probably gotten to the point now where there's something gaming related in every single room of the house, but that makes sense seeing as both me and my girlfriend love playing games. Of course, with these Pac-Man coasters, you also got given the other three ghosts, as well as Pac-Man himself. So that's enough for five people, which is pretty good. Another very functional present, but one that I very much appreciate. Although, come to think of it, I actually think that technically these weren't mine, but these were given to my girlfriend, but seeing as they're being used in the house, it's kind of for both of us, if you know what I mean. The next present that I got given isn't actually technically gaming related, although I guess you could kind of say it is because they do have quite a lot of video games, but I thought I would bring it up anyway, because I have mentioned this before in a previous video. So, might as well mention it here too. And the present that I'm talking about is this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles t-shirt. Now, if you watched my Pixels Book Club video, you'll know that I've been recently re-getting into the Turtles series, because I didn't actually know about the comic books until very recently, and when I started getting into them, I sort of fell down a rabbit hole and got reinvested in the series again. So, because I've been talking about the Turtles quite a lot, my girlfriend knew that I would probably appreciate a good Turtles t-shirt, so this was a nice surprise to open on Christmas Day. I was actually going to wear this for this video, but it probably is due for a wash because I have worn it a couple of times already. So, we'll probably get to that after this video. Just while we're on the topic of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I should probably also bring up the fact that I also got two new issues of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comics. These are the massive hard book volumes that collect like multiple issues, uh, so this is probably going to take me a while to get through both of these, but uh, yeah, to add these to the collection is really nice, and I've now got five of these massive books, so they're looking really good on the shelf too. I'm really looking forward to reading these actually, and these are probably some of my favourite presents that I got for Christmas, because I am really invested in the series at the moment, so I can't wait to dive into these. And yeah, yet again, I know that these aren't gaming related specifically, but I thought a lot of you would probably appreciate these. Moving on to something that actually is gaming related now, I also got my girlfriend this uh, for Christmas, which technically means that it isn't my present, so it shouldn't be in this video, but I thought I would bring it up anyway because it's actually pretty good. Just wait for it to make the noise. There we go. So it's uh, Animal Crossing Monopoly. Uh, so this actually works quite a lot differently to the standard game of Monopoly. It's a lot more like simplified and streamlined, and uh, the objective isn't really to just have the most amount of money at the end of the game either. So really, this could have just have been its own game without the Monopoly branding, uh, but still, it is really good. Like I say, it's a lot simpler than Monopoly, uh, so kids could probably enjoy it a lot more too. Uh, so yeah, definitely look into this if you're a fan of Animal Crossing or board games, or even Monopoly, I guess. Uh, because it is genuinely really good. This is one of the few presents that we have actually used. Uh, so yeah, I can actually vouch for this one being good. Now the final thing that I've got to talk about here in this massive pile of presents is this. Now this is an Elgato HD60S Plus capture card, which is a massive upgrade from my old capture card that I've been using for quite a long time now. Uh, which was just the Elgato HD60. This is actually probably the most useful present that I got this Christmas, because this is going to really help me out with the YouTube channel and with streaming, uh, because this is going to enable me to record directly from the PS5, whereas before I was having to actually use the PS5's inbuilt capture uh, in order to get footage from it, because my old capture card didn't work with 4K signals. As well as that though, the footage that you can capture from this is a lot higher quality than the one I was using, and it can also capture HDR footage as well, so from now on all of my game recordings should look a lot better than they did before. One of the other big things with this is that it can capture footage in 60 frames a second, which is going to be massively beneficial for the channel as well. My old capture card was supposed to support 60 frames a second, but it always never quite managed to do it properly and whenever I did try to do that, it would always glitch out and like drop frames and stuff, so this is going to be a lot better for that. The final major improvement that this is going to make to my overall setup 
is that this doesn't have any capture delay, which means that when I'm setting up for streaming, I'm not going to need to desync the video from the webcam or desync the audio from my mic in order to match the game footage. That's just going to make streaming so much more simple. To be honest, this is probably going to make me want to stream a lot more often because I'm not going to be sitting there thinking that I'm going out of sync with the webcam or with the gameplay or anything constantly. So this is a really, really functional present and one which I'm going to use all the time. Really, really good. But yeah, that wraps up everything that I got for Christmas in 2021 that's gaming related. To be honest, I wasn't expecting to get anywhere near this amount of stuff. I actually wasn't expecting to get any games this year, because although I had mentioned a couple of things in the past, there was no games that I like actually told people that I wanted. Uh, so that was a really, really nice surprise. Of course, all of the other gaming related things were a surprise too, and I'm really happy with everything that I got. Uh, if you are one of the people who got me anything this year for Christmas, I just want to say a massive thank you, because I really do appreciate it. And like I say, I just wasn't expecting to get anywhere near this amount of stuff at all, so thanks. Like I said at the very top of the video, let me know what you got for Christmas too. Did you get anything that you're really happy with? Did you get anything like my capture card that's gonna like enable you to do something creatively that you couldn't do before? Let me know. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas, or if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a happy holiday anyway. And I hope you're looking forward to the new year, and I hope you have a good one. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more stuff like this coming soon, give it a like if you did enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!